Hey guys, Scott from Fry Props here, and today we're going to be taking a look at an exciting new product called the Gantam Torch Escape. Uh, you may be familiar with the traditional Gantam Torch, which is basically a controllable handheld flashlight. You can remotely control the color, uh, the brightness, different effects, as well as a vibrating motor. Now there's a version that's especially made for escape rooms. It's brighter than a standard Gantam Torch, and it also includes UV light, which is great for escape rooms because you can have the torch reveal hidden clues. We're also going to be demoing a new programming tool called Color Piano. As with a standard Gantam torch, the torch is controlled by these little IR emitters called a Blink FX emitter. These have to be programmed and you can do so with a free app for Android or iPhone. So the first step will be to program the emitter using our smartphone. So let's do that first. The app that you'll want to download is called the DMX Programmer. and You can find it as a free download on the App Store or on the Android Marketplace. So we have it here on the App Store, we'll just go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you'll see are a list of devices. We're going to use Color Piano to program this mini emitter. When you order your mini emitter, you'll be able to choose whether you want it to be compatible with Color Piano or traditional DMX. Color Piano is great for people who don't have a ton of experience programming DMX fixtures, and you'll see why in a second. So let's go ahead and select Color Piano from our device list. And it'll give us some step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect the light to the phone. You'll need a standard 3.5 millimeter stereo audio cable. And the first step will be to connect the cable to the emitter. You'll see the emitter has two uh, inputs here, one for power and one for this 3.5 millimeter audio style cable. So we'll go ahead and plug it into the light first. And then as you can see in our first step here, we then plug it into the phone. You wanna make sure that your volume is turned all the way up Step two will be to connect power to the emitter. So we have a 12 volt, uh, one amp power supply off screen. We'll just go ahead and connect that to the emitter. And now the emitter should be powered on. Now we simply hit next. As soon as we open up the color piano interface and have the emitter powered on, you can see that we have control over the torch itself. If you're not seeing the display that we're seeing here, make sure to go to the settings uh, menu, and then you can actually select the color palette that you're using. We want to be using the RWUV for the Gantam Torch Escape. So that's what we have here. If your Gantam Torch Escape is not reacting to the app, make sure also to go to settings and then go to options only for Gantam Torch and hit that. These values allow you to set the power of the emitter as well as the persistence, meaning how long the effect will stay in the torch once the emitter is out of sight or powered off. The default is two seconds, we'll just leave it there. You may have to hit set in order for the emitter to communicate properly with the torch. Now that we have it all set up, we can change the color of the torch to different hues. We can also use a number of pre built macros, such as candle flicker, strobing, heart pulse, and set the intensity as well as the speed of each of these macros. The cool thing about Color Piano is that it programs just like you would program a peekaboo. If you're familiar with a peekaboo controller, they're programmed in real time by pressing a record button, playing out your sequence, and pressing record again to save. Same thing for the Color Piano app. You'll notice that we have both ambient and triggered show options. That means that you can have one set of effects that's taking place by default whenever the torch comes in range of the emitter, and another set that's triggered by some sort of input in the room, like a step pad or a motion sensor. So you could actually have the light function one way until players are standing in a certain spot, at which point it changes to a different function. So let's go ahead and program our ambient show. This is how we want the light to perform whenever it's in range of this emitter. To do that, all we're going to do is make sure that ambient show is selected, and then hit record. Now we can just play it in real time, like we would with a peekaboo. So let's say we want a white light that's strobing. And maybe we want it to shut off for a second. We just hit black. Turn off the strobe, then we want it to come on with a candle flicker. We can slow that down, make it more or less intense, change the color, maybe make it a bright red that's got a heartbeat to it and then go back to a uh, lightning flash white light. Once we've programmed our loop as we desire it we simply hit the stop button and that recording is saved. Now let's program our triggered show. 
Let's say that we want the UV light to only come on if players are standing where we've placed a pressure mat. So we'll select Triggered Show, we'll go ahead and hit Record, and then we'll hit the UV. This will turn on the UV light, and as you can see, we've drawn a hidden message in UV paint. We could have it strobe or flash as well if we want to make it a little harder to see our hidden drawing here, or even turn off completely, and then turn back on. Anything we want. Just press the buttons as you want the light to perform once it's triggered. The duration of the triggered effect just depends on how long you wait. So if you want players to have a minute or two of time with the UV, just wait that long before you hit stop. Once we've had enough, we just hit stop, and that's saved. Now that we've programmed the emitter, we can disconnect our phone from the device and set it aside. Now as soon as this torch comes into range of this emitter, it will start to play our ambient show. Like so. To play our triggered show, we're going to use the 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the emitter. This adapter is included with the emitter, and it has three terminals. I've attached a push button to the two terminals that will trigger the mini emitter to play our triggered show. So we can go ahead and plug that in. And now, whenever we press this button, it's going to switch over to that triggered show we programmed earlier. And there's the UV light, which reveals our secret drawing. Once the triggered sequence is finished, it will go back to playing our ambient mode as before. So that's a quick overview of the new Gantam Torch Escape programmed with Color Piano. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them as a comment to this video or send us an email at sales at Thanks!